instance, here's another version of Jack and the Beanstalk. This one is a little bit shorter. We're going to use the this one for our retelling. Uh, yesterday we made our character and setting cards to retell Jack and the Beanstalk, and we'll use this version. The other one, I love the other one, um, but this one has, it's just a little bit shorter, probably easier to retell for us. But you can also use the other version, the longer version from yesterday to use that as the retell if you want to have more detail. Either one's fine. So here we got, here we go with Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a poor widow and her only son, Jack. Life was hard for them. At last, all Jack and his mother left was their milking cow. One day, Jack's mother said sadly, Jack, you must take the cow to market and sell her. We have nothing left to eat. Jack loved his cow and wanted to sell her, but he knew there was no other choice, so he set out early the next day for market. On the way, Jack met a strange old man who offered him five beautiful rainbow-colored beans in exchange for the cow. They're magic, the man said. Jack eagerly agreed to the trade. Jack ran home to show his mother the wonderful beans, but when he told her what had happened, she was very angry. Trading a cow for five worthless beans, she said, now we'll starve. She threw them out the window and they both went to, went to bed hungry. When Jack woke the next morning, he found that an enormous beanstalk had sprung up outside the window. He quickly began to climb it, going higher and higher, until at last he reached the top. There Jack saw an enormous castle. A woman answered the castle door and Jack said, I am very hungry. Can you give me something to eat? No, said the woman. Go away. My husband, the giant, will eat you. But Jack begged, and finally the giant's wife let him in. Just then they heard a loud thump, thump, thump. He's coming, the woman cried. Hide in the oven. Jack jumped into the oven. The giant came in shouting, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Look out, human, here I come. Eyes, ears, hands, and feet. I smell something good to eat. Nonsense, said his wife. The giant sat down and called for his magic hen. Lay, he roared, and the hen laid a golden egg. Then the giant dozed off. Jack crept out of the oven, snatched up the hen, and ran away as fast as he could. He climbed down the beanstalk and took the hen to his mother. Jack's mother lived happily for a long time by selling the hen's golden eggs. But it wasn't long before Jack decided to climb the beanstalk again to seek more treasures. He returned to the castle and knocked on the big door. No, said the giant's wife when she came to the door. The last time I fed you, you stole my husband's hen. But Jack begged and the giant's wife let him in. Just then they heard a loud thump, thump, thump. Quick, said the giant's wife. Hide in this kettle. The giant came in shouting, Fee, fi, fo, fum, look out, human, here I come. Eyes, ears, hands, and feet, I smell something good to eat. You're always saying that, his wife replied. Come eat your supper. After supper, the giant got out his enchanted harp. Play, commanded the giant, and the golden harp began to play all by itself. After a while, the giant fell asleep, snoring loudly. Jack jumped out of the kettle and grabbed the harp. The harp cried out, Master, Master! The giant awoke and ran after Jack. Jack climbed down the beanstalk with the giant close behind him. As Jack neared the bottom, he cried, Mother, bring the axe! Jack jumped to the ground and took the axe from his mother. He struck the beanstalk as hard as he could. Down came the beanstalk and down came the giant. So all ended well for Jack and his mother, if not for the giant. And as for the wonderful beanstalk, it never grew again. All right, that's the end of that one. That one's maybe too short, right? Did you know something was missing? 
Yeah, do you know, do you remember what it was? Yeah, remember it was like the, the bag of gold that was missing from this one. So maybe this one was just too short. Yeah, we need to find one that's just right. Okay, stay tuned for that. Bye-bye.